Hello my friends, it's Cassie and welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a slimline card using this adorable Adore set by Trinity Stamps. I just love this set. It's just beautiful and I feel like I could make so many wonderful cards with it. So we're going to do ink blending today. So I've got my Waffle Flower Media Mat out and I am blending it four times the speed. You don't need to see me doing that normal. It would take forever. Uh, but I've got my Blender Buddies and I have various distress inks. These are the regular distress inks. You could use oxides if you wanted it to be a little bit creamier look. But I've got Bristol Smooth Cardstock and my first color was some Squeezed Lemonade and then I moved on to Dried Marigold. The next color that I'm going to grab is Abandoned Coral. And then, um, yeah, I, I chose Bristol Smooth because I do like the way that it kind of sits on top of the paper at first. And then it just kind of soaks in and it, I just get a beautiful blend every time. The next color I'm grabbing is Seedless Preserves. And I love this color combination. It's not a color combination I've ever used before. And it seems like I tend to do that. Like I will just go searching, find a color combo and um, give it a try. And this is one that, I'm, that I just tried and I just really love it. I'm bringing in some of that color on the edges just to add a little bit more drama to it. But we are about done with our blend here. The next thing I want to do is do some splatter. So I've got some Gold Sheer Shimmer Spritz and I'm just taking the cap off and I'm going to just tap that all over that background. And this is a very wet medium so what I'm going to need to do now is heat set that because I plan to do some embossing. So you're going to see me heat set that and it does take a little bit of time so I'm not going to show you the whole process. But um, because we're doing some embossing, we need to check and make sure that that is actually dry. So I'm taking my magic powder bag and I really was very generous with that. I'll sweep away any of the excess and then I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna test it with the embossing powders that I plan to use. Just kind of hold that over the top and see how that does. And you'll notice that I had a few spots where it stuck. So I know that it's not completely dry. So I'm gonna sweep away the excess and then I'm going to dry it again and we'll try it again. And at this time, I'm much happier. All right, so we'll go through that whole process again. I'm going to stick it inside of my Misty. And then I'm going to grab out the stamp that I'm using. And look at how big and beautiful and bold those words are. Oh, come, let us adore him. And I love that. I just love it. I mean, for me, that's the reason for the season. So I love this stamp set. All right, use my magic powder bag, swept away the excess, and then I'm going to use a new to me ink. This is the Ink on 3 Juicy Embossing Ink. I know it's been around for a little while, but this is my first go at it. And to be honest, I really, really like it. It went on smooth the first time. It's It worked great and it is super juicy. So, all right, stamp that down and then I'll open the door of the Misty and then I'm going to grab out some Brutus Monroe. This is the Gilded Sparkle. It's a beautiful gold sparkly embossing powder. Some of my favorites that they have are the Sparkle line, that's for sure. And I did get a spot where I didn't, I guess it wasn't completely dry. So I'm just going to keep tapping, see if I can get that away, kind of blow it away. And I get most of it away. The only thing that kind of sticks behind is a little bit of the glitter. So now I'm going to heat set that, taking that off of my Misty because you don't want to heat that. Uh, and watch the magic of the embossing powder. I just think this stuff is so beautiful. Not only is it a beautiful gold, but now there's that little sparkle, that hint of sparkle in there that just really makes it pop. So now we gotta go through the whole process again. Now I'm gonna grab out the manger at the bottom and we'll use our magic powder bag, sweep away the excess, and then use that juicy embossing ink again. And then this time I'm going to grab some Raven Sparkle. Now this stuff is gorgeous. I think this is one of the first embossing powders I ever had by Brutus Monroe. And yeah, this stuff made me fall for their embossing powders for sure. This stuff is gorgeous. So I'll heat set that and you'll be able to tell because it'll go from a matte to a shiny. And it's got that beautiful glittery sparkle in there. And then our final embossing would be this star on the top. So it looks like a tree, which is pretty cool, right? Um, you got the star and then you got the oh come let us adore him and then the manger underneath just like that's the stump of a tree so i love how that looks all right ink that up and then stamp that down and like i said this time we're going to be using some sterling sparkle so now we've got some silver the gold and the black on there all in sparkly gorgeous embossing powder I'll brush away any of the excess and then once again heat set that till that is smooth and melted. Now this set has a lot of stars in it so you could go crazy with that. I just chose not to. 
My base is some more of that Bristol Smooth cardstock just because I had it out. And I cut that down to 7 inches by 8.5 inches and I'm scoring it at 3.5 inches. And I didn't do anything on the inside. I'm kind of surprised by that. I may have to go back and do something later. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just glue down my panel to my card base. This did have a little bit of warping because I used a lot of heat for all that embossing. So the liquid glue worked best for me, kind of kept everything in place, and it gave me a little bit of time, a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that that's on there well. And then once I get that done, that is it, kids. We are done with the card, and I just love, love, love how this turned out. I love the ink blending. It was so smooth, and I love all that beautiful embossing. All right, so if you liked this video, I would appreciate a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And as always, I do appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give um, from the liking, subscribing, using my affiliate links, all that stuff. You guys are pretty incredible. And so thank you. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.